something I always remember my parents having at Christmas time were just mixed nuts that you could crack, but I don't have a nutcracker, I just realized. <laughs> They've been using the lemon squeezer, or my husband will just take two and like crack them together in his hand, but I'm, I'm not quite strong enough to do that. Did I? Did I crack a little? I hold a crack. But I got two bags, so I have some in this glass bowl, or not glass, in this um, china piece from the, the china set that I have. So they've been taken from there, and I just think it is cute decor and just brings back you know, fond memories and traditions. All right, we are back from church. It's already actually noon. We wound up stopping and picking up some local honey, and then we stopped at the grocery store to grab a couple things. And now we're doing breakfast. I am, or brunch. We, I'm making some bacon right now, and we'll do our regular things. We had plans to go and see a friend today. She completely renovated her house, and she invited us to come and see it, and then just do like, you know, lunch there. But she wound up texting us last night saying she wasn't feeling well. So, you know, she, we're gonna maybe postpone it till next Sunday is the plan, the tentative plan. So we're gonna do just a brunch here. Now we have, you know, our day open. We were gonna spend pretty much the day, afternoon and evening with her. Um, so now we kind of have it open. Dan's working or going to work on a car in the or when we're done eating. I definitely have some editing I need to do and some filming. So, you know, I'm sure we will fill the time. All right, it is quiet time now. Dan's working in the garage. Kids are gonna watch a movie downstairs. I'm gonna spend some time in the kitchen here and do some baking. I wanna make some gingerbread. We actually made gingerbread and gingerbread men and like a bunch of different shapes while we were in Florida with family and it was really fun. And I made the dough there and I just picked a recipe that I found online. And I feel like the recipe that I used was okay, but the flavor wasn't that great so I mean, it worked beautifully to like roll out and, and cut and everything, but I want to try a different recipe. I just looked up, I just Googled it and found the King Arthur recipe. So I think I'm going to use that one. I think it's King Arthur. Yeah, King Arthur. So I left out my butter and my egg earlier when we were prepping breakfast or brunch. So that is soft and ready to be put to use. I have my little decorations all over my mixer, which it's a little bit, a little ridiculous, a little in the way, but I think it's fun and festive. So I'm gonna get that dough put together. It does say to refrigerate for an hour or longer. So I'm gonna have to do that, which is definitely gonna cut into my alone time in the in the kitchen, but um, that'll still be okay. It'll, I mean, it'll be fun for them to decorate once they're baked, so. I think they would rather do that part anyways. So I'm gonna spend some time in here. Dan's coming in. All right, this recipe is already a little bit different. It wants me to melt the butter, the molasses, the sugar, and the spices, and then let it cool down and then mix it in. I've never tried that before. Usually I just cream the butter, so I guess it didn't even matter that I left it out, but that's okay. So I need to do that. I have to melt it. And my little pot is in the fridge with some leftover um, rice in it from last night, so I'll have to use a, a pan. Angels we have heard on high Sweetly singing all the plain And the Dough is made and chilling, and I just, Dan came in, and I said, oh, what do you wanna do for dinner? And I was like rattling off all of the freezer meals that I had prepped, and so he said, oh, chicken corn chowder sounds good. So he pulled that for me from the freezer, and I'm just leaving it here for a minute to thaw, and then I'll probably 
I don't know, if it's, if it's thawed enough to just pour it out, I'll just pour it in here and warm it up. And then I will probably make, I'm thinking biscuits or bread, but probably biscuits because it is faster. And then I just prepped the powdered sugar to make the icing for our gingerbread. It's, I've used a couple different recipes, but basically icing and milk, or uh, I should say powdered sugar and milk makes like a basic icing. I have used some recipes that call for melted butter or vanilla. Um, some have like egg white in them. Like I looked up recipe for royal icing, but honestly any of it works. And then we will have fun decorating our gingerbread men. If I can bake them today, I don't know. I still have to edit and Dan's still working. So we'll see, the kids aren't even asking about it. So even if I, I just have the dough made, if I can get them cut out and baked later today, I don't know, we'll see. I'm just thinking out loud. It seems, it feels later than it is because that's just how it goes. It's only 3.40. I've been having computer issues, which is incredibly frustrating because I need to edit a video every single day. And I don't know, it's just one of those things. Our computer is old and we got it refurbished probably like 10 years ago now. And every year around this time, around October to November, December, we think, should this be the year that we replace it? And somehow, by the grace of God, it like still chugs along and I can still get all my work done. So, I don't know, we keep having that conversation every December, should we replace it? And one year, we're gonna have to do it, so. I don't know if, to, if this is gonna be the year, but I'm gonna try to get it going and edit. First two batches came out, they turned out really good. This dough, so far, is really, you know, it, they cut well, they obviously kept their shape, and it wasn't like too sticky to work with. I still have a ton left over. I could easily triple this amount, I have a ton. And then, I'm such a, I was not even paying attention. I had the wrong burner on, and I was wondering, why is my soup like not? melting what's going on and sure enough I had the wrong burner on and then I took my cookies out of the oven and I put it here because I thought this was the cool burner so I actually burnt one of my cookies it like burnt the pan but luckily it was just one of them but an update on the candy cane cookies that we made the other day on Friday they turned out really good they're okay I mean as far as like comparing them to the Andes mint that I make that those are phenomenal. These are okay. They just taste like a sugar cookie mixed with candy cane, which is basically what they are. So we only have one left over. I did have one today, so they were good, but I don't know if I would make it again. They do look really cute, but so there's that. All right, soup is ready. Now that I finally have the right burner on, it's just like a thick potato, corn, chicken chowder. And then I just made up some biscuits I actually have a whole video about these biscuits, how I make them. It's only five ingredients, very easy, and they just puff up so beautifully. All right, I am going to sign off for today's vlog here at my computer. I finally got a chance to edit. I also had to make a sign of genius for one of my daughter's classrooms for their classroom party. I'm her room mom, so they're doing a cute like pancake breakfast. So. Just did that and a gift exchange, got all that sent out, which is great. People have already been signing up, which is always a great thing. So, I'm gonna head to bed. It's 9.30. I'm almost nervous to leave this computer because it's been giving me such trouble, but it's working right now. So I kinda wanna just like keep working, but I also don't wanna stay up late. We gotta go back to school tomorrow. So, just gonna say a little prayer that it keeps on 
keeping on all vlogmas long. So that's gonna be it for today. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.